Time to get winter ready. It's been pretty quiet around here lately, and now that we're into the spring season, of course, Old Men for Winter decides to pay us a visit. Hello, South Haven. We're looking at South Beach Live, and, well, it's a little bit deceptive to look at such a calm scene with some sunshine. Thanks to our partners at Horizon Broadband for the view there. Well, winter weather advisory will go into effect in about nine hours, three o'clock Friday morning, and you see the counties that are shaded in purple, Allegan, Barry, and Eaton counties, northward, including GR, Holland, Ionia, Muskegon, all in that winter weather advisory that will go through the day on Friday, through Friday night to midnight. Uh, slippery roads, travel impacted, and accumulating snow, which could be heaviest along and north of I-96. Now, how about the I-94 corridor here, not involved in the advisory, and it looks like the precipitation will not be as heavy, and also it's going to be warming up faster. Let me show you what I mean as we go hour by hour. This evening, if you have plans to be out and about, you're good to go. There's no problem with the weather at all. Overnight, we start to see the snow approach, stopping the clock at 3 o'clock. That's when that advisory goes into effect. We're watching the snow make its way across the big lake. And by the time we get to 7 a.m., along and north of I-94, we're seeing the snow showers, including I-96, I-196 here. And watch our temperatures as we go from 7 a.m. to noon. We stop it right here. Notice that snow has started to lift north of I-94, hence it's not in the advisory area. Allegan, Hastings, you are. And our temperatures are starting to warm above freezing in Kalamazoo. And even approaching the low 40s by Friday evening, that snow band continuing here. Again, Allegan, Berry County's north was where expected to see a little bit more of that snow. It all clears out of here by Saturday, by Friday night, I should say, and by early Saturday, things will be getting much quieter. Well, how much snow are we looking for? Again, heaviest, it looks like, along and north of I-96, where there could be four plus, maybe even up to half a foot of snow. And this large blue area, which again includes most of that advisory area, we're looking at about two to four inches. Lighter amounts, though, in Allegan, Berry County, than say like Holland, Ottawa County, Kent County. And then south of that line, I think accumulations will be negligible. Let's look live. Uh, speaking of quiet weather right now, downtown Kalamazoo with our Peregrine Tower camera, lots of blue sky and sunshine looking good here as we look to the north over Kalamazoo. 38 degrees. It's been a colder than average day today. Typical high mid to upper 40s. We're only in the mid to upper 30s area wide. Where's that snow right now? Way out here to the west. But I'm going to continue tracking it here and it will be arriving overnight. So the forecast then becoming cloudy with that snow arriving overnight by daybreak tomorrow when you get up and at them, it's going to be snowing. A snowy tomorrow, mixing with rain along I-94 with a high near 40 degrees. Here's your Sealy Auto Group 7-day forecast. Saturday, Sunday, actually looking pretty quiet. Mix of sun and clouds. It stays colder, but then Monday and Tuesday in the 50s with a chance for showers.